Increase your bench press, get it up to 225 pounds. There's two things you guys need to really nail. The first one is the technique. So, on your technique on a bench press, what you guys want to do is you want to bring your feet up a little bit. You don't have to go full power lifter and have this hip extension and have this massive back arch, but you do want to have your feet up a little bit, all right? The second thing, is you get a little closer here, Taylor, y'all see this little line on the bars? This is called the knurling. This is how you know both sides are even. And you also want to go a little wider on your hand placement. So if you go super tight, like this, it's gonna be a lot more tricep. If you go a little wider, you're gonna lower that range of motion down and you're gonna get a little bit more pec recruitment. So the second thing is a little wider, make sure your hands are placed evenly. I put my pinkies on there. All right, third thing, let me fix my mic real quick so it doesn't move. All right, third thing, thumb over the top of the bar, like that. Because the pressing point of the hand is right here. There's a bone called the hook of the handmate. That's the pressing point. If I'm gonna hit you in the face with an open palm, that's where I'm gonna hit you right there. Just like karate, right? Pop, Bruce Lee style, okay? So, then you're here, thumb over the top. Next, you want your shoulder blades down in this depression, and then you really want them retracted too. So it's gonna look like this. And you'll notice I'm getting this back chain dominance in combination with pulling my feet up a little bit, just like that, right? So let's put it all together. Feet up a little bit. Of course, you guys wanna roll the bar forward. Hands a little wider, thumb over the top, shoulder blades back and down, here. And then you wanna press, just like that. All right, oh. down. Now you guys know the technique on proper bench press. The second thing is, how do you get there? Reverse pyramid training. It's the opposite of traditional pyramid training. Traditional pyramid training is your highest volume, medium volume, lowest volume. So let's say a lot of people like to start 10 reps first. Don't do that. They'll go 10 reps, lighter weight, eight reps, a little heavier, and then six reps on their last set. So why do people use the heaviest set as their last set? I don't know, it's never made any sense to me. So reverse pyramid is we switch it. We're gonna go heaviest set first, four to six reps, excuse me, increase your weight 10%. So you're gonna go four to six, first set. Second set is gonna be six to eight with a 10% with a weight increase. Third set, is gonna be your eight to 10, right? And that's how you guys wanna do it. And you wanna get about 10, five to 10% stronger every single week. And I promise you guys, doesn't matter if you're at 135, next week you'll be bench pressing 140, then you'll, you'll, you'll just keep adding it up. The thing about the bench press is it's very linear. It's like this. So if you guys have the proper technique, that'll immediately increase your bench press. And then you do your reverse pyramid training one time a week, four to six, six to eight, eight to 10, not traditional pyramid training. Make sure you do that the reverse style. You'll get stronger every single week. And then you guys will bench press 225 pounds. And just to show you, give you a little proof that I can bench press 225. I'm not even warm because I'm a beast and I don't even have to get warm before I can bench press that much weight because I've been doing this for so long, and I'm a calisthenics guy. And for those who know calisthenics, like actual body weight strength training, not 100 push-ups, but like ring muscle-ups and stuff, translates over to actually lifting weights, okay? Lifting weights does not translate over to moving weight. It's called relative strength, it's absolute strength. So. I'm not gonna go crazy here, just because I did chest a couple days ago. 
I probably should have lowered these rungs down a little bit because this is kind of hard to get off. <laughs> All right, watch this. A little trick, by the way, if you guys have shoulder issues, low incline will really protect it because you can get a better pressing angle. So that'll help me just be able to get this off. But this is easy. Bam, just like that, guys. All right, recap. Technique, you guys need to have a little back chain dominant. Pull your feet up, shoulder blades back and down. Hands maybe slightly wider, all the way to the breastbone. Thumbs over the top, press. Reverse pyramid is the second thing. Four to six, 68, eight to 10. Go up 10% every single set. And third thing is every week, you need to get stronger, so make sure you guys are tracking your weights. And that is how you gym newbies are gonna be able to reach the 225 bench press. Step by step, you guys got it. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, have fun with it, tag me in your videos when you reach it. Comment down below, we'll see you soon.